Gary, um, mm. tell us um, your profession. What do you do for a living? I, uh, I'm in the set design business of, uh, for a television studio in New York, NBC Studios. And I do this show called The Path, which stars Michelle Monaghan, Aaron Paul, and uh, you dancey. And it's about a cult. So we design the sets and we build them. And that's what I do for a living. I'm also a director and a producer and an actor. Um, because in New York, uh, the saying of New York is if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Do you think that's true? I think it's tougher here. It's very tough because it's a, you know, especially as an actor, you think there's probably 100,000 actors, maybe more, in the city alone. And there's not that many roles. And you have to really win them here. I mean, it took me all this time to get a recurring role on, a, on an HBO drama, which I just got a couple of months ago. It, th it, takes, it takes time. You just have to be really right and there at the right time. A lot of it has to do with talent, but a lot of it doesn't. Yeah. There's a heck of a lot of competition. And what I've noticed is a lot of the mainstream actors now are taking television roles that they didn't before. I mean, uh, you know, J-Lo, who was a, a, a film star, she's on a show called Shades of Blue with Ray Liotta, and these two are both notable screen stars of, of feature films. So not only are you competing with the New York-based actors, you're competing with celebrities for, the, for these roles that you would normally go out for. Yeah. In fact, I was up for the role of Henry Hill in Goodfellas, and Ray Liotta got it. Wow. So there you have it. What's the hardest part you've been through? Ooh, that's a good question. Money, money, making it and not making it. Um, film business can be rewarding. Uh, obviously, getting paid as an actor is rewarding. But until you get to that point where you can actually start earning, you, know, you can fall on dark days. You better have a backup plan. I think everybody that is in the film business, as an actor or a writer or a director or a producer or anything of those you better have a backup plan just in case it doesn't work. Um, what do you think um, is the secret to making it in New York City? Having thick skin, you know, being able to persevere, be the cream that rises to the top, be strong, keep fighting, be that fish that's always swimming upstream. Be the strong fish, you know? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> because if you're not, <laughs> you're gonna get swallowed up. There's a lot of competition, a lot, with anything. And it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. You know, people could think they come here and it's gonna be uh, a lot of glory. There's not a lot. You see, you know, between the uh, prices of rent and food and clothing, and the, figure it out. You've been very successful in your career. Uh, you have the family, you have the children, you have the career. Um, do you have any goals for the rest of your life, career-wise or career? <coughs> I'd like to direct more. I want to direct a few more features. I wouldn't mind getting my children in the business, but I don't know what end yet because I'm very protective over them, so I wouldn't want them to be hurt. It's a difficult business. Very difficult. I've seen people go to the extremes. Um, they're not working. They tend to drink more, do more drugs. You know, I've seen the pitfalls, and the pitfalls are ugly. So it's hard to say. But yeah, I like to keep on making movies. I wouldn't mind being in a, couple, a few more films. And I don't do it again for any kind of satisfaction or satisfying ego. I've noticed that lately with a lot of actors that they're very, very narcissistic. Uh, especially in social media, they have to constantly put on what they're doing and who they're doing it with, and they take pictures of themselves in their campers. I think it's weird. You know, that's kind of part of the business that I think is very strange. Yeah. 
Yeah. But then again, so is each his own. I, that's not why I'm in it. I, uh, I'm not in it for the, the glory of it because uh, there's a lot of non-glory days. I saw more of the dark days than the glory days. Why are you in it? I enjoy it. I enjoy entertaining. I enjoy making films. I uh, enjoy acting. I enjoy directing. I like to tell a story. And that's the best way to do it. It's the best format to do it in. So, when you interview anybody, everybody's going to have their own opinions on what success is. And to me, success is having a happiness in your life. No matter where that happiness comes from, that's success to me. So, whatever you do, whatever kind of job you have, as long as you're happy and your family's happy, then that's success. That's my definition of it.